What do people normally think of when they hear alcohol testing? When people hear alcohol testing, they normally think of roadside tests such as breathalyzers and blood alcohol concentrations. At Atto Life, we more think of the long-term alcohol consumption and we test different alcohol biomarkers. Some of the biomarkers that can be looked at for alcohol tests include ETG, ETPA and PEP. So these biomarkers can be split between direct and indirect alcohol biomarkers. PETH is a direct alcohol biomarker and is direct because it's only formed in the presence of ethanol. Another alcohol biomarker is CDT. CDT is what is known as an indirect alcohol biomarker. This is because it's formed in the liver from the long-term consumption of alcohol and not from the direct consumption of alcohol. So at Atto Life, we say that PETH is a powerful biomarker as it can give a better interpretation of someone's alcohol consumption. We can tell whether they've been drinking heavily for the past month or whether they've abstained from the consumption of alcohol. Peth is favoured by courts because it could paint a bigger picture of someone's alcohol consumption. For example, if they were drinking heavily previously, continuous peth tests could show their gradual decrease in their alcohol consumption, eventually to see their abstinence. So for a peth test, we only need a small amount of blood. This method of blood collection is safe and stable, so it's just a finger prick, and it's about 10 microliters and such a tiny amount of blood then it's safe to go in the post.